The Zone Manager in Equisim Energy Simulator allows users to create heating, ventilating, and air conditioning zones composed of one or more rooms. These zones can then be used to more readily apply specific HVAC systems or subsystems to serve a distinct set of rooms, that is, a zone within the building. The process of assigning HVAC systems or subsystems to serve a zone or specific rooms within a zone is described in a separate HVAC manager video clip. This video is focused on creating zones and assigning rooms to those zones. Multiple zoning options can be defined and saved within the project in order to allow the user to evaluate the energy and occupant comfort impacts of the various zoning options. This is a significant benefit as users are not required to save a separate project file for each HVAC system zoning configuration that they want to consider. The Zone Manager can be accessed by clicking on the System Managers tab at the top of the screen. Then click on the Zone Manager button located on the ribbon bar. By default, a zone named All Rooms is defined, which includes all rooms contained in the building. There is also a separate zone defined by default for each floor of the building, and these zones contain all the rooms for that floor. So this is for Level 1, all the rooms on Level 1, and Zone Level 2 which contains all the rooms that are on level 2. To add a new zone, simply click on the Add button in the lower left-hand corner of Zone Manager. If you wish to change the default name for this new zone, right-click on the zone name and select the Rename option. When a new zone is created, all rooms in the building are initially displayed in the Available Rooms column. To add rooms to the new zone, simply highlight the rooms in the Available Rooms column using the left mouse click, and then click on the Add button between the two columns to move the room to the Rooms in Zone column. Note that multiple rooms can be selected using the Control or Shift keys in the same way as making multiple file selections in Microsoft Windows Explorer. So for example, if I want this conference room and I want all the rooms down to Office 109, I'll hold the shift key, left click, so that'll select all these rooms in between the first selection and the last selection, and then I'll click Add. If you want to remove rooms later from this zone, again, you simply select the rooms that you want to remove, and then click on the Remove button to move those rooms from this column, Rooms in Zone, to this column, which is Available Rooms. And there's one other method for moving a room from one column to the other. You can simply double left click on a room, let's say Print Room 207. If I double left click, then that moves it over to this column. Similarly, if I want to move Men's Restroom 113 back to the Rooms Available column, I can just double left click and it'll show up over here. So there's multiple ways of selecting rooms and moving them from one column to the other. 
If you later wish to delete a user-defined zone, then simply highlight the zone name in the zones list in the left pane here, and then select the delete button underneath. So in this case we created test zones as a user-defined zone. I'm going to click delete. It's going to ask me if I'm sure and I'm going to say yes. Once you are finished with changes in Zone Manager, then click Apply and OK to save your changes. If you are working in Zone Manager, but change your mind midway and don't want to save any of the changes that you made, then just select the Cancel button, which will cause you to exit Zone Manager without saving any of your changes. So now I'm going to run through a quick example of creating three new zones in Zone Manager and assigning four rooms to each zone. So I'm going to add a new zone and I'm going to name it first floor north rooms. And just for this example, I'm going to want to add the conference room 104, office room 105. I'm holding down the control key now and using left mouse click. Then I want to include office 106 and file room 107. Now that I have my four rooms selected, I'm going to click the Add button. So now this new zone named First Floor North Rooms contains four rooms. Conference 104, File Room 107, Office 105, and Office 106. Now I'm going to create a second zone. I'm going to rename it to First Floor Core Rooms. And for this new zone, I'm going to include Corridor 102, again, just as an example. I'm going to hold the Control key down now and select Men's Restroom 113, Storage Room 114, and Women's Restroom 116. So these four rooms have been selected. Now I'm going to click the Add button. And lastly, I'm going to create one more for this example, one more zone. And I'm going to rename it to be Second Floor North Rooms. OK, and for this new zone, I want to include Conference Room 202 and Office 203, Office 204, and File Room 205. Okay, so now I have my three new zones, and each of those new zones includes four rooms that have been assigned to them. So when I'm done, I'm going to click Apply and OK to save my changes that I made in Zone Manager, and then I'm going to click on Save at the top of the main screen to save all of these changes with this particular project file.